Yeah, we finally saw that psycho again breaking today in the Idaho murders case. Suspect Brian Koberger chose to stand silent during his arraignment this afternoon, charged with four counts of first degree murder for the murders of four University of Idaho students last November, leaving the judge to enter a not guilty plea on Koberger's behalf. The trial is set to begin October 2nd, could last about six weeks, and Koberger could face the death penalty for any of those murder charges. Idaho just reintroduced the firing squad as an option. So what can we expect in the lead up to the trial this fall? Will prosecutors seek the death penalty? Joining me now to discuss former U.S. attorney for the Western District of Virginia. He's been following the case very closely. John Fishwick is back. Welcome back, John. Kendi, thank you so much for having me back on your show. So let's talk a little bit about um, the fact that there was no preliminary hearing. What did we see today, and is that a good development? I think it was a smart move by the prosecution team. I don't think you want family members to have to testify more than one time in a case like this where there are four young college students brutally murdered. Uh, he was indicted. There's plenty of evidence to indict him. Uh, so I think it was a smart move by the prosecution team. There'll be a trial in the fall, but I think it was very protective of the family members of these victims to make them not have to testify twice, which mm. they would have if there'd been a preliminary hearing. So I think it made a lot of sense. All right. So why didn't he enter a plea? The judge had to enter not guilty. Is that so he seems incompetent because he's pretty competent? He was a PhD student. It's very unusual, Kennedy, for somebody not to themselves enter their plea one way or another. Uh, but is he leaving an option open for some sort of mental illness defense in this case? I think that's a, a good probability of that. He's going to say, hey, look, I'm not competent. I needed the judge to enter the plea for me. And as you point out, Kennedy, that's uh, highly suspect in this case. After all, he's a Ph.D. student studying criminology. Yeah, no. So I think that's going to be, be tough. Yeah, I, I tend to agree with you. And, and by the way, everyone in that community, they're paying attention to all of this, and they're not going to buy that for a second. You know, people, they consume enough true crime podcasts, stories, documentaries, uh, that they know some of the tricks that, that people like this try and pull. So obviously, this is a very emotional case. When does the death penalty enter into this? And would you be surprised if they sought that? I would think 100% they're going to seek the death penalty in this case, Kennedy. These are four young college students murdered brutally in the middle of the night in the prime of their lives. The prosecution has 60 days from today to announce whether they're going to seek the death penalty. But this was a cold, calculated, in cold blood murder. I'd be stunned if they didn't seek the death penalty in this case. Yeah, and, you know, we've heard uh, some leaks here and there. I know there's a gag order on the prosecution and defense, uh, but we have heard that he was essentially stalking at least one, maybe more, of the victims. So it's starting to build up. Build up. Are you surprised that law enforcement hasn't released a motive yet? That's the one piece of the puzzle, Kennedy, that you point out uh, accurately, as you always do, that we haven't heard yet what it is, what the motive is. Keep in mind, you don't have to have a motive to get a conviction in a murder case. Uh, you know, he was there at the scene of the crime. There seems to be no question about that. They've got strong forensic evidence tied him to the murder through the sheath on the knife. So I think they've got strong evidence. The motive has not been released yet. I expect there will be a motive. Uh, you know, he seems to be kind of a... Uh, dark kind of human being, uh, and it may be hard to find that motive, but I expect they'll find it, don't have to have it to convict him, but they'll be looking for it. Have you heard about any potential involvement in other crimes? Well, I'm sure the prosecutors all over, you know, Pennsylvania and Idaho and Washington are checking all other cold cases to see what he other cases that he may have been involved in. They're not going to leave any stone unturned for other open murder investigations where he may have been in the vicinity on the night or day of the murder. I'm sure they're running down all possible leads, and I would expect there have been many calls into law enforcement about Mr. Koberger. It's, uh, it, it is a fascinating case. It is incredibly tragic, but, you know, the more we learn, it, he still remains such a mystery and a complete scumbag. John, thank you so much. Thanks so much, Kennedy.